Hello, this is the tutorial for Singing in the Rain for the 1920s for the female makeup. Alright, so what you're going to start with is foundation. It's kind of already mixing. Um, you're going to take your foundation and you're going to put it on your face. Man is fault. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like most girls know how to do their foundation. <laughs> I don't you dare cut that out. <laughs> Make sure you blend into the neck, otherwise it looks real ugly. And there's your foundation. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to contour her face, um, so you're going to take, since Alora's not that dark skinned, we're going to take not the darkest color, but like the second darkest color to get like a nice contour, and you're going to put that right under the cheekbones. You see like those lines right here? That's where you want to contour, because you want to enhance the face. She's gone from the ear to the neck. Other side. Sometimes she's gone from the ear to the neck. And then you kind of want to make sure that you get around the face as well. Like up here on the forehead, on the hairline, on the hairline. And then under the jaw, right there. Right there. It was funny when I did it. <laughs> um, if you want, you can add some highlight. I'm a big fan of highlight. I'll let those right above the, right on your cheekbone. Like right at the high point, at the high of her face. Yeah. What's age said? Who's age? And then on the nose. And then on the nose, right here on the forehead. Oh, whoops. And then right here on the chin. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the blush. Um, 1920s has very intense blush. Um, I don't know why, but that's what they did. This blush is a bit weird, but I'm going to take this one right here and put it on right in between the contour and the highlight. There's no reason you're choosing that one. Um, I'm specifically choosing this one because that's the one that matches her skin the best. Like, every skin has undertones, and her undertone hits this one better. My eyes! My eye, man! Close your eyes. Are my pupils blushing? I hope they are. I'm sorry. Thank you for doing this. You don't need to be at this. And you kind of want to do a bit lower blush, because that's kind of what we want the look to be. And then we're going to do eyebrows. Um, what you do is you kind of take a small brush, you get some eyebrow stuff on it. And then you're going to do similar strokes throughout the eyebrow. Trying to make it look more full. And then the next thing for you is they have very defined eyebrows. So you want to make sure that you really fill it in. And then it's good. Are you done? Now we're going to take eyeshadow. You see that? Okay. Um, you're going to take a base color, which is like a lighter color. Sorry. Choose one of these lighter colors. Um, use that as a base color. And then you're going to choose some darker browns to... To define the crease. And that's where you're going to put it. So I'm going to take this dark brown. And I'm going to put it right
Open your eyes. So it's a slight difference, but you're going to do that. And then you're going to take... You're going to take the same brown and you're going to add more of it at the corners. To make it darker and more defined. Her hairline. I'm not going to do both eyes. Then you're going to take eyeliner and you're going to go from, I usually go from the corner of the eye but it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go out. Mostly, it's going to be like from this corner, it's going to be from that corner to about one third of the way. So, about that, and that's pretty much the look you want. Cool, and then also, you're going to want some red ish, pinkish lipstick. Um, uh, make sure you get one that matches your skin tone. Do your other eye, please. <laughs> cool. Cool. Hi. Uh, signing off.